Welcome back to your Feel Good Morning Show. It's Expresso only on SABC3. Right now, though, we are on the topic of hygiene, but more specifically, the importance of washing your hands and how by doing so, you could stop the spread of infectious disease, which is the number one threat to public health in developing countries. And this morning, we have Dr. Val Curtis, reader from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, joining us to discuss the importance of washing these. Dr. Val, good morning. Welcome to Expresso. Good morning. Thank you. So we all know that, you know, by not washing your hands, you can spread disease but let's take a look at specifically for children in developing countries what's mm. the which, which illnesses really you know cause mortality when it mm. comes to kids I mean you say we all know that we should wash our hands with soap but the problem well, is we actually don't do it so only something like two out of five of us when we yeah. go to the toilet or before we prepare food or give food to other people, we don't actually wash our hands with soap. So though we know it's really important for our health, somehow mm. it isn't part of our habits. Um, our studies showed that uh, something like uh, a million kids every year in developing countries die from diarrheal diseases. A million. And a million. And uh, over 30,000, over 3,000 in South Africa as well mm. die from diarrheal diseases. And these are diseases that just shouldn't be happening. So in countries mm. like mine, very few kids die from, from these infections. But in developing countries, yeah. it's a really big issue. Diarrhea kills more, pe more kids than malaria, measles, and HIV combined. Mm. So people don't really realize how important it is, but hand washing with soap mm. could save at least a half of those lives. So it is incredibly mm. important. It sounds so simple. But that's but what I was about to say. It sounds so simple. As a washing yeah. your hands, you could, you could save a life. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, well, it's not ridiculous. I mean, yeah. soap, soap looks like this sort of banal thing that you have in your, in, your, in your bathroom. You don't even think about it. But actually, soap is a superhero. I mean, soap is something mm. that prevents... If, let's say, you had an infection, how yeah. would I catch that infection? It would have to be passed from you exactly. to me. And you would maybe touch a cup or touch touch food or shake hands with me, for yeah. example. You don't want to shake hands? I did wash my hands, I promise. Oh, okay, then we can shake hands. Okay, okay there we go. So, it's, so, you know, hands are a bit like, you know, in, in malaria, there's yeah. a mosquito that if you had malaria, it would pass, yeah. pass malaria to me. Well, yeah. hands are like the mosquito. They're the vector. They have what carry disease mm. from person to person. So obviously, if your hands have got infection mm. on them, the best way to stop that happening is just to clean your hands. Mm. And so something as simple as soap can do this magic. It can remove germs mm. and prevent this transmission of infection. But it needs us to kind of rethink the way we approach hygiene. And is that something you would advise us to do as well? Well, I mean, we don't have to go nuts about it. We're, we, we don't have to be washing our hands 20 times a day. But there are five key times when it is really important to wash your hands. So right. after you've been to the toilet, I mean, just think about what might be on your hands. I mean, uh, you know, coming mm. out of the toilet, have a little sniff and think, mm. Mm. And so that, if you do that little sniff, it'll remind yeah. you that you must wash your hands with soap after the toilet. Right. And then think, when you're preparing food or eating, yeah. what's on your hands? Just, just think about that. Yeah. That maybe will help to cue a little, yeah. my hands might be disgusting, I better wash my hands with soap. Mm. Uh, and then, of course, you, you want to wash, you want to have a... Mm bath at least every day as well with soap mm. so soap is like this magic superhero that can mm. if we if we remember to use it it really can save huge numbers of lives and it's good manners so exactly. it protects your loved ones all the people around you if i wash mm. my hands with soap before i shake hands with you it's being respectful and good manners to you so for all those reasons it's really important that we just remember we mustn't no excuses exactly. every time wash your hands with soap yeah. Is there a limit as to what you say? How much, how, how, how many times a day should you wash your hands? Because we as human beings, we, I don't think we actually realize how many times we touch our faces and everything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, if it, 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 the more the better. Yeah. But obviously we're all busy people and we exactly. can't afford the time to be doing our, washing our hands all the time. Uh, there was a study that showed if you wash your hands at least five times a day, you're protecting mm -hmm. yourself, not just from diarrheal diseases, but from those um, coughs yeah. and colds and pneumonias and... Uh, you remember there was a scare about swine flu not so long ago. Well, yes. you know, if we were all washing our hands with soap, we wouldn't need to worry yeah. about infections like that getting a hold mm. and causing causing devastation in, in, in the future, yeah, which it might do. Awesome. Dr. Val, thank you so much for joining us and just enlightening us about a little bit of hand washing. Look <laughs> at that. Hands are clean. I love it. I feel safe. Thank you so much. And you are on your way back to London, so a safe trip for you tonight. Thank you so much. There you go. So make sure that you do wash your hands because just stop and think how many times a day you touch your hands. But make sure after you went to the bathroom, get these clean. It's over to you, my man.